Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot, and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere in your birth chart that Aquarius might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take a second and ask you to subscribe and click that little bell so you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. And in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys will like. This reading is going to be for the month of November 2019. Although, any time that you come across it, because tarot card readings are timeless, and you feel drawn to it, then you would most likely find a message for you within. Okay, so... Let's just go ahead and jump right in. What love messages do you have for Aquarius for the month of November 2019? What love messages do you have for Aquarius for the month of November 2019? What love messages do you have, they don't want to go together, for Aquarius? For the month of November 2019. What love messages do you have for Aquarius for the month of November 2019? Okay, one more time. What love messages do you have for Aquarius for the month of November 2019? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and divide these into three. guy shows up a lot. This is the card on the bottom of the deck. This is going to be the overall energy for this reading and as we go through your spread I'll show you how this card will relate to the different cards that are in your reading. Okay. Now the Seven of Swords talks about um, someone who might be manipulative, a liar, somebody who does things um, because they think they will never get caught. Um, you know just someone who is in general a piece of you know what. So all right. All right. They'll tell you whatever you want to hear in order that they can get their way or manipulate you. They will convince you that you are the be all end all, their one true love, their one and only, and um, really um, they'll be telling several other people these type things at the same time. All right. So. The first, I do four rows for those of you who are new here. The first row pertains to you, uh, your future projections, um, things that are coming towards you, what's presently happening, and things that have recently come to pass. All right. The second column uh, represents your beloved, your intended, your twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart, a karmic partner, an ex whoever might be first and foremost in your thoughts in the morning when you wake up and the last person you think of at night when you go to sleep. The third row is your obstacles and the fourth row is your outcome. All right, so this looks like a doozy here, okay? So we have the Knight of Wands as well as the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, so this, exp <laughs> this explains that and you know, um, yeah, the rest of these cards down here pretty much confirming that. All right, so you have uh, you have someone who has made you feel excluded, like um, you know you don't know everything that's going on, like you're left out of the loop, or like these people here, you are left out in the cold. You feel um, kind of outcast. Uh, you may currently be in a relationship with this person, but you always have that feeling of you don't really know what's going on. And that's just your um, that's your guides and your intuition telling you that, you know, something something's not right. And you always need to listen to that, okay? Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, if there's nothing going on, you know, they'll, they'll you know, they'll reassure you and confirm you but also if they are this type of person they will also reassure you and confirm you but it won't feel right okay uh, this you know you are ready to confront them and ask them uh, you know what is going on why uh, why is this happening uh, what did you do this for where were you at 
those kind of things, uh, you know, when the pieces just don't always fit. Um, somebody that'll like cancel on you at the last minute and have some, you know, excuse you've heard people give a million times. All right, so we have Judgment and the Four of Swords. This is your uh, person, all right? So they, you are feeling that, you know, this is, this is uh, something that, uh, they need to face up with. They need to be confronted with. They're going to reach out to you and say, "Yo, oh, no, please, let's stay together." Uh, you are serving some type of purpose for this person in their life, and this is the time you need to reflect and uh, just do some very deep soul searching. Is why would you want to be with someone who is manipulating you and treating you like this? Okay, this it seems to be like a really common thread that's coming up and several of the readings lately, uh, that there's a lot of deception and stuff going on. So if the obstacles are lovers reversed as well as the moon. So where you had thought you were in this relationship that, you know, was this person might have been, you might have thought this person was your perfect person. Uh, the moon card tells us that things are going to be revealed. Uh, whatever they've done in the dark, it's going to come into the light. Uh, it always it always does so yeah uh, you're gonna find out some things and it's gonna hurt and but it's gonna be a big time wake-up call for you you're just not going to uh, tolerate you're gonna come to the realization that this is a false person this is a false twin or yeah, you know, a lot of people don't believe in that but I think there is such a thing um, they tend to be somewhat you know I've said this before in some of my other readings, there are forces in this world that don't want good. They want you to fail. They take delight and they will suck your energy uh, just to just because that's what they do. Uh, if they can keep you from uh, evolving and uh, coming into union with your twin flame, then they can keep chaos and misery and uh, BS going on in the world. Uh, because when you come into... Um, divine partnership with your counterpart so much of that can be undone in the world so much love is going back out into the world because of that union and that's what we're all striving for here is trying to uh, find our our divine counterpart okay all right so uh, the person that you thought was it's going to be revealed to you that it's not but that's okay because that is going to allow you to free you up to uh, to move forward and come through and find the one that you do actually belong with. So your outcome is death as well as the two of cups. So I see that there is no, um, there's no reconciliation here. You're just, you're deciding that, you know, you don't like this lying. You don't like this manipulation. You don't like the fact that maybe your partner is uh, telling all these lies and has all these secret lives going on behind your back. You know, some of these type people, they'll tend to have three or four different circles of friends and nobody knows about the stuff that he's telling one group of friends or another. And sometimes the groups of friends aren't even aware of each other. But that type of person is totally toxic and it's best of all to end those type of relationships because they are only there to destroy you and they will lead you to believe that uh, you know they need you or they they want you in their life but what they are is they need and want your um, cheerleaderness I guess they want you to uh, stroke their ego they want some type of energy from you they are total vampires <laughs> yeah I know Halloween's over but yeah, that's what I'm talking about, like an, an energy vampire, an energy intruder, somebody that comes into your life uninvited, unannounced, comes in and presents this front like they are everything that you had hoped for and believed them to be. But, you know, you have to remember that they are liars and they are manipulators, okay? And they do cause a lot of um, confusion and hurt and... Um, it's just not worth your time in this particular lifetime, okay, to uh, tolerate that sort of thing. All right. <clears throat> so we're back to your 
column and we have the Ace of Wands as well as the Eight of Cups. Now the Ace of Wands in reverse, you have to remember that this person you know, there was a reason you were attracted to them. You had um, all these feelings and emotions, but most of them were, um, they were fake. Not your emotions were not fake, but what the person led you to believe they were was fake. Uh, there's going to be a lot of attraction to this person, whether it's emotional, spiritual, um, spirit ties, um, sexual attraction, any of it but uh, you're coming to the realization that you need to walk away from this that there is better out there for you all right oh okay so your partner is feeling like okay well I've tried everything I'm doing all I can I'm trying to you know suck them back in and uh, make them realize that they need me and they want me but it's not working they're finding that their whole world is crumbling around them uh, you're walking out on them and uh, they are feeling like their entire world has fallen apart they have um, you know they've offered you one scenario after the other uh, some people call it future faking where they promise okay yeah well we'll go on this vacation or when i um going to get that we'll have the baby or we'll get married or whatever and they will try to lure you in with the things that you have expressed to them uh when you are you know at your most vulnerable and uh you are talking about your dreams plans hopes for the future they're taking all that in and writing it all down in their little brain somewhere back there and so they pull it out when they find themselves uh, where their whole world with you is falling apart and they pull it out and make those promises to you in order to get you back in because they want your life force they want your uh, energy that you um, that you shine out into the world and that's very attractive to these type uh, ugly demonic, I don't know any other word, uh, creatures that live inside these people. But they will try to get you uh, back repeatedly by telling you all the things. Um, just tell them no. Tell them you're not interested, <laughs> okay? Tell them you're not interested. That gets its crap. All right. So we have five of wands and the king of wands reverse for your obstacles so yeah they're going to pull out that sexual attraction they're going to tell you all the things that you need everybody has insecurities maybe you got a little extra weight on you maybe you've got uh you know different things in your life that make you feel insecure and they're going to tell you oh you're so perfect you're so beautiful uh you're my king you're my queen you're all these things um, they're going to use those insecurities on you and make you feel loved and desired and wanted. And uh, when that doesn't work, they're going to get ugly about it. They're gonna they're gonna go, oh well, whatever. You know, they're gonna call you really ugly names that they know will trigger you, uh, and they will pretend to reject you and I call it pretending to, they're actually going to say they're going to reject you and go oh well, whatever I'm just you know you'll never see me again I'm leaving whatever but you know what <laughs> they're saying that because they've just played on your insecurity after they had made you feel like you were this perfect being and then they tear you down and when you don't respond, then they're just going to leave you. So then you're left with this feeling that, oh, I better go run after them. Don't do it. Because <laughs> this just gets worse and worse and worse. Okay. The name calling and uh, the mind fuckery is just going to get worse and worse and worse. So, you know, don't play into it. Just, you know, keep your mind and your heart on the future and what it is that you want. So... <laughs> We have the Empress as well as the world for your outcome here. So leaving this situation, you're going to find, Aquarius, that you are taking on the Empress and the whole world is going to be in front of you once you leave behind this type of negative energy and stuff. It will take might take a while to heal. You know, it always does in situations like this, but it's showing me that you have this whole future in front of you that you can become your true and authentic self and put this out into the world and it will attract all the good and beautiful things around you and create a brand new um, fruitful future for you okay but you absolutely uh, have to put this 
negative relationship in the past okay and again this this card here they're going to try and try and try to get you back because what you provided for them was <clears throat> exactly uh, you know what they feed on okay don't be somebody's dinner all right uh, it's beautiful so yeah this is what you are this is what you represent Aquarius this is your little badass self out there in the world where you are you know strutting your stuff and gaining the attention of other people and other people appreciating you for what you are and just shining and you know this person does not deserve this person does not deserve that okay so we have the page of swords and the ace of swords uh, in in okay they're ne neither ones in reverse okay so this person is probably going to uh, reach out to you again and again and again. I keep seeing these communication type cards come up for this person. They're going to reach out to you and you're absolutely not having anything of it. You're going to, uh, you know, your eyes have been opened by this moon card here. Now, again, you know, everything comes to light and this eclipse, like I've said, you know, I don't know how many of you have watched previous videos, but this is an eclipse and when it's dark, you can't see because there's no moon or anything. It's, this, this shadow was completely over the moon. But when that shadow moves and everything's illuminated again, it's so bright. It's like daytime and you are made aware of all these things. And they, you know, all this is exposed to you. All this ugliness, all this chaos, hurt, deceit, all that is exposed. And you are uh, cutting this. You're going to cut this communication out. You're just, you're going to walk away from them and, uh, you know, just be aware that they are going to try again and again to get you back because they need you and they've made you feel like you need them. There'll be times when you'll feel as if you are wanting to rush back to them as if you were wanting to get in contact with them that you know I'm sorry let's please work this out but you understand that when you do that when you do that you're you're gonna be distraught just a little bit there's gonna be a little bit of confusion going on there's going to be a little bit of shock and stuff so you know be careful don't rush into don't don't you know, first time you're hurt or lonely or sad or miss the physical touch of this person, don't run back to them because it's only, they're only, they're going to punish you. Once you come back to them, they are going to, uh, you know, maybe, you know, enjoy that for just a little bit and then they're going to treat you twice as bad for leaving them because their ego is so big they can't tolerate being left. All right, so you're... All right. You're going to be made aware once you leave and you walk away. You're going to see that there was this third party situation going on. You know, this is dangerous for everyone involved, especially when you're not aware of it because you're not being able to protect yourself physically from, say, diseases or anything like that. But you're not able to protect yourself emotionally because your trust is being abused and destroyed because you believe this person to be... Um, your lover, you're the one you could trust. You believe that the things that they were saying to you were true, and they're not. They were just, you know, manipulation, and they were lies, just to get, just to feed off you, just to get what they needed from you. So definitely, I see that you um, are going to be moving away from this. But when you move away from this, and you are out of it for a little bit, you may go back and listen to. Um, voicemails or whatever or read old texts and the longer you are away from it the more that you can see this actual manipulation you'll see the patterns going on and on and on okay and as you find out things you go oh that's what was going on when they said oh uh, they, they had to go take care of their sick mother or grandmother or somebody okay uh, you'll find out that during that particular time they might have been doing something else or with someone else but moving away I definitely see that you're going to um, you're going to actually end the situation and move away from it okay let's see the outcome 
All right, so we have Hangman reversed as well as the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so here we go. So once you were no longer stagnant, once you were no longer staying there, and this shows me, along with this card, that you will be, you're walking away from it, you're not having it, you deserve to be treated better, you are the queen or the king that they said you were, and therefore you do not need to be treated like that. You are the empress, and you do shine out into the world and have so much to give. Uh, you don't deserve to be treated that way. So once you, you will find that you are no longer in that position anymore, you are going to find that this Ten of Pentacles will present itself to you and that you're going to have um, greater opportunities come your way. All right, so that is, oh, well, here's two cards that slipped over. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. So again, along with the World card, okay, once you do uh, leave the situation for a while, you're going to feel... Um, you know, we all have to take time to heal. We're human beings, okay? Um, you're going to feel, okay, well, maybe I'm not ready to immediately go out and look for something. Um, believe me, when you're ready and your, your love will present itself to you. But you are uh, now looking forward to the future and everything that it holds for you. Uh, here's this world, and he's holding this little globe in his hand, and he's looking out uh, into the future, uh, unsure of everything that's happening. But this shows me that there is fertility and growth, and uh, you're planting the seeds that you want in order to build this beautiful future for yourself, okay? And at that time, then this card that was in reverse will become upright and your true love will come into your life and present themselves to you. And it will be unmistakable and undeniable who this person is. There will be such a contrast to the way you were uh, treated and the way this person is treating you and presenting you. It's a very beautiful thing when you are with someone uh, who genuinely uh, wants and desires to be there and finds that your best interest is just important to them as their own. All right, so that's your reading, Aquarius, for the month of November 2019. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, common things going on with breakups and finding out about people, but, you know, that's Scorpio season and that's that's what happens. So, Anyway, it frees you up to have a great time during the holidays. Don't let that make you feel sad. Just go out there and, and be your beautiful, dynamic self. Okay, so I'm glad you um, are here joining me. And I want to take a second and thank you all for uh, all the subscribes and likes and comments. I've recently just crossed that 1,000 subscribers mark. And I'm really excited about uh, the growth of my channel. It's only just a couple months old. And... Uh, I look forward to uh, growing this community here on YouTube with you. And if anyone would like a personalized reading, please feel free to contact me at midnightmoontarot at gmail.com and I will answer you uh, within 24 hours. So, uh, you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you here for the mid-monthlies and I also do uh, full moon and new moon and sometimes I do other things in between there as well some different little bonus reads and stuff okay bye bye love you